Hello, everyone. This is Felix from Corpusphere Community. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a new feature in Corpusphere 3.1, which is Pipeline Template. As you can see, I already logged in to my Corpusphere console with the account Project Regular. So I'll use this account for the following demonstration. First, let me go to my demo DevOps project. Here I'll create a demo pipeline. Click on next. I'll just use the default settings here. Click create. Go to the detail page of this pipeline. Click edit pipeline. Here you can see the two pipeline templates. One is for continuous integration, and the other is for continuous integration and delivery. Let's check the first one out. Here you can see that the CI pipeline template contains two stages. The first stage is clone code. The second stage is build and push. Here on the right side, you can select a type and a label for the Jenkins agent. You can also click either stage to customize the steps in that stage. For example, you can click the little wrench icon on the right of with credentials and then provide credential as needed. That's all for the CI pipeline template. Now let's take a look at the CI CD pipeline template. Here you can see that the CI CD pipeline template provides six stages. And just like the CI pipeline template, you can select the type and the label for Jenkins agent on the right side. And then you can also click either stage to customize the steps inside that stage. Or you can go directly to customize pipeline. Here I'll just select a node for type and maven for label. Then click the little plus icon here to add a stage. Let me name it Maven version check and then hit add a step. Select container, name it Maven, click OK. Then click add the nesting steps, click shell. And let's do mv n dash v. Then click OK, confirm, and save. Now we have our pipeline ready. Let's hit run to run it. And after a while, you will see your pipeline status shown as success. Now that the pipeline status is shown as success, we can click it to view the information in detail. For example, you can hit the show logs button here, and you can view the run logs in detail here. So that's all for this tutorial. Thank you for watching.